customs boss dares NMPC to justify 6.34 trillion petrol subsidy. Welcome to the news. If you are new, kindly subscribe. And if you have been there, thank you for your support as you share and like my page. The Control General of the Nigerian Customs Service, Colonel Ahmed Ali, retired, has stated that the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, formerly Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, cannot justify the volume of premium motor spirit that is petrol being consumed in the country daily to warrant the over 6.34 trillion subsidy payment on the commodity annually. Ali noted this in the presence to the, in his presentation to the House of Representatives Committee on Finance at the continuing hearing on the proposed 2023-2025 medium-term expenditure framework and physical strategy paper in Abuja. He argued that the NNPC cannot scientifically prove the 98 million liters per day consumption it was claiming alleging that the nation's oil company was supplying an excess of 38 million liters of PMS daily. To who? To where? When we don't have tracking method, when we can all we do is manual, how will they be able to account for things like this? And even say Nigerians consume 60 million liters every day. How? If I fill my tank today, will I go back tomorrow and fill it? So how they get it? It cannot be the same figure daily. There will be variance because the moment you feed your tank today, that means it will last you the next three days. So who are the people consuming the 60 million liters daily? The committee had asked Ali about the like deficit of between 11 trillion and 12 trillion in the 2023 budget as proposed in the 2023-2025 spending. The federal government is proposing a budget with estimates totaling 19.76 trillion, while the deficit would over between 11.3 trillion and 12.41 trillion in the 2023 fiscal year. The Minister of Finance and Budget and National Planning, Zainab Ahmed, who appeared before the committee earlier, had decried that the government might be unable to provide for Treasury funded capital projects next year especially due to the dwindling revenue and annual payment of 6.34 trillion subsidy on petrol. However, the Nigerian Customs Service boss faltered the NNPC on the subsidy claims, saying, I remember that last year we spoke about this. Unfortunately, this year we are talking about subsidy again. The over 11 trillion we are going to take as debt more than half of it is going for subsidy. The issue is not about smuggling of petroleum products. I've always argued this with NMPC. Ali added, if we are consuming 60 million liters of petroleum per day by their own computation, why would you allow the release of 98 million liters per day? If you know this is our consumption, why will you allow that release? Scientifically, you cannot tell me that if I fill my tank today, tomorrow I will fill the same tank with the same quantity of fuel. If I'm operating a fuel station today and I go to Mino Depot, lead petrol and take it to Kaduna, I may get to Kaduna in the evening and offload that fuel. There's no way I will have sold all that petrol immediately to warrant another load. So, how did you get to 60 million liters per day? That is my problem. It's a good question, which this country needs to start asking questions from those saddled with responsibility and those giving us figures. I see we don't have people that can think. The issue of smuggling, if you release 98 million liters in actual and 60 million liters is used, the balance should be 38 million liters. How many trucks will carry 38 million liters every day? Which road are they following? And where are they carrying this thing to? Honestly, I like the question coming out from Ali. We need to know so many things so that all these subsidies that they are paying, that individuals have been enriched at the detriment of the nation, we must stop this. The committee's deputy chairman, Saeed Abdullahi, who presided over the hearing, 
the cry that falls under the subsidy scheme which should have been used to finance capital projects were being diverted into private pockets. Are these private pockets not known? Are they bigger than the law? Are they above the law? Can they not be traced through the monetary policy system? Who are they? Are they people in government or outside government? Are they cabals in this country too big to be touched? There is something that is fishy in this matter. Meanwhile, the custom controller general told the committee that the service will meet its revenue projection of 2.272 trillion for 2022, 2.873 trillion for 2023, 3.540 trillion for 2024, and 3.752 trillion for 2025. Good projection. I hope they will meet it and the government will use it judiciously instead of this boring bully that they are doing. The lawmakers queried the sum of 6.7 million spent on legal matters out of 7.5 billion a match approved in the 2021 Appropriation Act. Why are they why do they incur all this huge amount of debt? From 7.5, they use 6.7 to settle legal matter. <laughs> With another 9.2 proposed in the 19, 2023 budget. Ali, however, explained that the CNCS wrote to the presidency seeking environment of 4 billion to cater for pending legal debts, adding that inadequate funds that caused the service to pay as much as 20 billion for a suit of 3 billion for default. The lawmakers so asked the CG of the custom with ensuring remittance of 80% of operating surplus to the government coffers as preserved the Finance Act. Well, that is the CG Control General of Custom Action and the NNPC need to be called to come and account for how they are disposing and sending fuel out every day the same figure 60 million liters daily and at the end of the day they are sending out excess of 38 million who are the people getting this excess of 38 million liters are they exporting them to other countries how are they even moving them by prop by truck or by pipe who are the people saddled with the responsibility of monetary and giving us the right figure daily on the usage we are just paying, honestly, some people are just behind in the crisis that we are facing in this country. But are they above the law? What is the government doing? to try? This is the major revenue, revenue for this country. And we allow people to come in and fill their money away as if it's their father's money. This thing belongs to this nation. And if the people that are saddled with the responsibility of making sure that whatever belongs to this nation comes to the coffer of this nation, they were in big trouble. For how long are we going to continue like this? We are completing aspects of strike. Agricultural sector infrastructure is not well developed. Hospitals are like clinics. Why are we going to? Are we thinking at all in this country? Why do we allow individuals to get away with things that ordinarily in dollar client they will be in jail for? Well, what is your opinion about this discovery and this thing that was brought to the fore by the NMPC? I mean, by the Control General of Custom. Kindly make your opinion known as you subscribe to my page. Thank you, good day, and be blessed.